All right, yo, what's good, you guys? Uh, checking out JJK season two, episode twenty one. Um, yeah, it should be a really great one. Um, I I have seen a screenshot from the episode already, and I'll talk more about it, I guess, when uh, it happens here in the here in the episode. But uh, I actually saw like technically, like I didn't even realize it until like way way afterwards. But I saw. A, like a, some fan art of it uh, years ago on Twitter. If I had to guess, it was like two years ago or some shit on Twitter that I thought was actually uh, like just a dope picture, but like it ended up being from this, like from the moment. And I had no idea, um, but I, I'll i mention it when it happens here in the episode anyway. But yeah, it should be a dope one. Uh, based off that, I'm assuming the fight with Mahito ends this episode, which, which is interesting because. We have two more to go, but based off that, because I know like there's one more encounter, and then it's gonna reveal something. I'm pretty sure they're gonna drop at the at the end of the season, which will be dope. Um, but yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna just hop in because uh, it should be dope, and, and yeah. Oh yeah, these are definitely like new scenes. I was wondering if like they were just reusing them from the last episode, but they're definitely new. That looks crazy. His hair, uh, Yuji's looks like, uh, the way like Sakuna slicks it, slicks, slicks it back, which is interesting. Cause like, we've never seen his hair like that before. Dude, oh my god, that's so sick. And the music, too. He... What? How the hell do you even do that? Like, what? Dude, this is one of the, like, the, the hype songs of the season, bro, for sure. It's so dope. It looks like Gary the Snail. I was trying to think about what it reminded me of. It's Gary from uh, Spongebob. That's funny. Oh, that looks sick. It's like a new version. It looks cool. Like an upgrade. Dude, that, that was a cool transition right there. Mmm, that was sick. Cool pill B shot. Damn. These are these are different though. They're not the same. Damn, through the whole building. Oh, that's <laughs> that's cool, dude. That that's got to be. There's no way that isn't a reference to Naruto. That kind of reminds me of like the Nomu from uh, My Hero for some reason. So that was from the intro. Mm. Sick. Yeah, but like, there's no way that that shot right there with Toto throwing the hanger and like it looking like a like a uh, like a shuriken from Naruto, and then him like switching places to make it look like a to make it look like a substitution jutsu. There's no way that wasn't intentional, dude. That was that like that that had to be a reference, hundred percent. That was dope. Oh, and two, I noticed about it. I didn't leave it in the video. Uh, I saw it first last last episode, but like they actually changed uh, part to the ending of the intro to show like Sakuna's uh, pretty much like domain wiping out that entirety of the like part of the city. And so like that must have been real recent when they actually changed it.
This reminds me of something when I can't put my finger on it. From like another anime. Damn, look at Yuji's raw strength right there. Throwing the freaking something like that. This is a cool little callback to like season one. Like him gliding on the... Uh, like the freaking like transfigured human right there. It, it, that's that's crazy like when they shift to this area it's just like a wasteland mm. he's gonna use it for 0 0.2 seconds dude he is a beast Like, that just shows how, like, how much of a freaking problem he is. Like, to see that shit once and already kind of, like, just go for it. Dude. I was just wondering too if they were gonna like show this confrontation again. Wow. And it's working. I like how they're playing Boogie Woogie too. Dude, what the hell is that? He oh well like he had to uh, have touched him, but he freaking chopped off his own uh his hand to like get rid of it. Damn. Exactly, yeah, like, like, how does he use his uh, technique from this point on? And I had seen this too, like, on Twitter, because somebody posted a picture of it, yeah. <laughs> like, his necklace actually had a picture of Itadori, and I forgot it had uh, the idol in it as well, though. But that's funny. I wonder what song this is too. I just saw it in the corner, but I didn't get to look at it. <laughs> She's fighting with him. That's funny. <laughs> that's just so stupid. That's dope though. He's really dressed in the school outfit too. It's like really like a combo attack. Oh, they're gonna shake hands. <laughs> no way. Now they're gonna switch places. No, that's hard, bro. He had a black flash too, though. Yeah. That was dope. Oh my god, look at his hand. I didn't even realize, yeah, like touching him was gonna allow him to do that to his hand. Damn. Damn, but like, what's the future holding for Toto now with him losing an arm? The essence of his soul. Oh, that's where that shit from the intro is a reference from. He's gonna change himself? That makes sense, like. Like he's morphing into something else, like a, like something that was breaking out of a uh, breaking out of a cocoon. So is this just like armor that's surrounding him, or is it actually like his full? Like true form, like I said, I think it's more like an ar like a an encased armor though that's just around his body, like like strengthening him. Oh, I thought that hit him because the way he screamed. So is he gonna try to do the same thing? Like understand? 
like what his true soul is, Itadori. Uh, Yeah, like he's like he's evolved at this point. <clears throat> Damn, he made a huge ass crater though. Dude, look at his uh his freaking his uh area right here it looks like there was a hole through his freaking cheek and you can see his teeth he's i think he's scared because his legs are shaking Trying to calm himself down. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe it wasn't what I thought. That's cool though, like the effect underwater. Yeah, I think that's a, that's like an actual hole through his cheek, and he's like bleeding through, or like you can see his teeth through it. He has to get rid of him quick. They both, uh, like, missed each other. Wait, that was on purpose that he did that? Like, he released that armor area on purpose? Dude, that looks crazy, the freaking hole. Dude, it's gotta hurt. Damn, so yeah, like he can't use this freaking technique anymore. I think that's what he meant by that. So yeah, this has to be like, like the time lag has to be a reference to like before Ita Dori knew how to like control it. Or like they mentioned how like he had like a double impact effect when he would, uh, like when he would, uh, Use his uh, divergent fist. Damn, now he like deflated. Or like, not deflated, but like he looks like normal again. Seeing his body right there, like, made it look similar to a uh, Taguro back in uh, Yu Yu Hakusho whenever like he was all buff and then he freaking, uh, and then he like got super skinny when he was fighting Yusuke during the tournament. I'll just kill you. Damn, look at that. Wow. Okay, yeah, this was the scene I had seen. I wonder if they're gonna show it the same way though. Or uh this was the like the art I had seen. It was a picture of Itadori and uh there was like a wolf behind him. It was really dope. If I can find it, I'll try and uh put it on the screen for like a split second. But this is like this is a dope scene right here. Like now he's hunting Mahito 
as opposed to before. Damn. Dude, that's... <laughs> that's so sick. He's literally helpless right now. Bro, him going out like this is kind of crazy, though. Like, he's literally helpless. He can't do a thing. Like, it's almost kind of sad, but, like, you know what I mean, though, like, get to. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. And it's over. Fuck. <laughs> okay, yo. See, I won't. There was something regarding him too that I wanted to say, cause like, cause I knew he was gonna show up, um, ghetto. Cause I know of like when it mentions it, or like as it should mention mention in next episode, it'll kind of make a reference to what we just saw about like, uh, like the rabbits with Mahito and then like the wolves with Yuji and pretty much like symbolizing uh, like how like. Now Mahito was the one that was being hunted as opposed to before. It's a reference regarding that, but it's related to Ghetto, though. And I'm assuming they're going to show it, because I think I've seen the panel. Uh, like, I'm assuming there was a panel, like, regarding that in the manga. But, uh, yeah, that was a cool episode, dude. I don't know if they're going to have a cliffhanger, though. I'll leave it running just in case, but... Dope episode. I don't think there is. It's already about to end, and there's like thirty seconds left, and they will need to do. They will need to do the preview still. Yeah, no cliffhanger. It looks like. Yeah, no cliffhanger, but uh, but yeah, so. The next episode should be, like, concluding the arc, finally. But it's going to deal with, like, Ghetto. But I'm, I'm assuming, it's, like, that's going to get wrapped up in, in a single episode, though. And then, at that point, there's a whole other episode to go after that. So I'm wondering what's going to, like, happen with that one. Because I'm waiting for something at the end of the season to be revealed, but I don't know if they would show that in, like, an entire episode. Like, I don't know. I don't think that this stuff with Ghetto is gonna, like, go on for an, for a whole episode, or, like, for a whole two episodes either. I don't It's gonna be interesting to see what they do with it. Um, but I'm gonna be looking forward to the, to the finale for sure, because I'm assuming that's when we're gonna get the reveal that I want to see uh, really bad. But, yeah, dope episode. Uh, I love the symbolism between Yuji and, uh, like, with the wolves and Mahito with the rabbits and, like, the prey and all that stuff. Just, like, now him, like, him being hunted and stuff. But, uh, yeah, it is kind of sad, I think, the way they kind of made Ghetto, I mean, not Ghetto, uh, Mahito there at the end. He was pretty much, like, a helpless child, you know what I mean? Like, I know he was a piece of shit and shit like that, but, like, he was a really good villain at the end of the day for me, um... But, like, <laughs> next episode's gonna be cool. Because we did see uh, Ghetto show up there at the end, offering to save him. Um, so I guess we'll see if he really does or not. Um, but yeah, I'll see y'all for the next episode. Uh, two more weeks to go until we don't see DJK. For, I'm, assuming, I'm assuming what's gonna be another two years. Uh, but yeah, hopefully after this, we get to see some news on Chainsaw Man. Uh, 
Yeah, fingers crossed with that. Yeah, I'll see y'all next week. Yeah, peace.